So there he is. You don't quite see me, which is quite weird. I'm wearing, I'm wearing sequins and a lime green hat. It's really weird. It's really, really weird. episode how do you do into webbers and welcome to stories of my life so today wednesday stockholm sweden i have been yesterday i had this annoying cough and so i went to bed quite early i took a bubble bath and then i thought no i need to get rid of this irritating cough because i start work tomorrow and i'm going to dinner tonight went to bed quite early slept really bad sort of like i keep this is so stupid because when I went to bed, I didn't sort of, you know, I, well, like, I spent some hours scrolling uh, TikTok. And of course, because I haven't seen it yet, the movie uh, Stone Smoke. No, not Stone Smoke. Not Stone Smoke. It's two words and it's kind of weird and it's the name of this estate that they're on in the movie. Burn. Salt Burn. Salt Burn. So I watched some videos about Salt Burn because there's a lot of videos about Salt Burn and if you are on TikTok and you watch some videos on, on Salt Burn, it co you know keeps going. So all night I've been sort of listening to uh, Tracy Ellis Baxter or whatever her face is. That's uh, murder on the dance floor. You better not keep the... And then I sort of, I couldn't remember, like now, I couldn't remember I, in my dreams, or if I was awake, I don't know, I couldn't remember the name of the movie. So I was sort of like, oh, it's trying to remember the name of the movie in this. Well, anyway, I slept bad, but I slept long. So I got up at seven o'clock, I guess. Yeah, seven o'clock. And I took a really long, lovely bubble bath. Yes, bubble bath is my thing because then you can't do anything else. You can just... I, I spent... I edited videos for three days. Three day videos. I mean, the video, the videos like these. The three days. So, in about two hours. And then some TikTok. But still, you know. Oh, and I had to refill... I had to refill the water, but wouldn't this be a great idea if there was something you could sort of put in your bath that kept your bath water? I, I, I'm, I'm talking about something electrical that keeps your bath water from going cold. Because it's sort of, it, it's really cold outside now in Stockholm and this apartment is not the greatest with insulation. So... The bathroom is kind of cold and then it's kind of hot because of the hot water and then the water quickly no not quickly after an hour gets cold again and you sort of like a bum shivering so anyway that's what i've been doing and then we had plant plans uh, me and my friend magnus for some of you i got so many new followers the last couple of days so i feel like i need to um introduce everything i have a friend He's an actor who's called Magnus and he's been to Malmö, Malmö Opera. And they did a, a, a musical called Everybody's Talking About Jamie. And he was a drag queen there. I visited him, him for two weeks ago. He just came home. And our friend Martin, whom I spent a night, an evening, not a night, a couple of days ago at his apartment watching Sauce Mihi Milan. Anyway. Hope you don't get, oh, I realise you don't get bored with these recaps. And uh, so Martin, who loves Christmas, invited me and Magnus, when Magnus comes back from Malmö, which he has done now, to go to his place for dinner and some games and Christmas things. So we talked, Magnus and I, about going there on a bike. Usually we, we go and Magnus comes here. I lived sort of in a suburb to, to Stockholm. Martin also lived in a suburb to, uh, to Stockholm. But Magnus lives smack down pat in the middle of Söder. So he's, he's sort of 
he 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 uh, usually doesn't have to bike so far. Martin doesn't bike at all, but I do. Anyway, you can tell that I haven't been talking much today. Anyway, so we were supposed to Magnus and I. That Magnus came by here, and we had a pre because yesterday, yes, last year this was the same. God, this is last year we were invited for the same kind of meal to Martin's Christmas extravaganza. So we came here and had a couple of glasses of something and sort of always, almost got late, but we were kind of late and a little tipsy. So we were planning to do that again, but then, then I texted Magnus and said, well, I don't think it's a good idea for you to get on your bike with because there's been snowing all day, all day yesterday. There's snow everywhere and it's really, really cold. And he said, no, I don't think so. So let's meet at the subway station at Ernst Bay is where he lives. And I said, yes, I, being the daredevil I am, I'm going to venture onto my bike and see if I can get there because it's mostly downhill. Um, hopefully it will work. Otherwise, I'll just, you know, chuck the bike somewhere in a snow drift and walk. I don't know. Anyway. My apartment is sort of in a shambles. Uh, I have plans, always have plans. To... <coughs> it's back. Always have plans to uh, rearrange or, or, I don't know, to get, make it sort of pristine. It never goes pristine. But anyway, um, I thought if Magnus come here, I need to get up early, which was what I did, and start cleaning. And then we got a text message when I was in the bath. I was saying, no, I'm not going to come to you. I'm going to meet. So I sort of, sort of, I thought, no, funk it. I'm not, I'm not going to clean tonight. I'm just going to, tonight, today, I'm just going to sort of lounge around, which I have done. But now it's time for me to buy a perfume. This was what I was supposed to tell you. The other thing just came. When I was very young, we were talking 25, 24, I, I was home in, my, in the town where I studied. I moved to, this was after I moved to Stockholm. So I was back for Christmas in uh, Kalmar. And that was out discoing. And uh, a man walked by who smelled divine. And I went up to him and said, what's your perfume? And he thought... That was a little odd. I didn't think it was odd, but it might have been odd. He said, Pour un homme de caron. And I don't know if this story is true. I don't know if it is pour un homme de caron, because my friend Tom, Tom, also had pour un homme de caron. Uh, so it pops up in two of my stories, and I'm not sure which one it is. I'm sure that it popped up in one of them. I'm not being very clear. Anyway, I distinctly have this sort of, it's a lovely, lovely scent. You can't get it anywhere in, in Stockholm. So I looked it up and uh, the best way is to contact them. They're in, there's a, a, a Parisian, they're French. And I thought I'd buy a bottle as a present for myself. But should I just get one bottle, I ask myself. So this is the one I want to get, but also there's this. I've read about it and I can't really read the name, but I remember the bottle. And this is sort of like vanilla. No, this is it's vanilla and uh, wait, vanilla and lavender. I crave it. I need to buy it. It's not that expensive. It's 80 euros. And wait, there are other stuff. I think this is just variation because they got this great product and they think, well, pour on, this is aromatic. What's the difference? Parfum? Ah, this is not parfum. Maybe I want parfum. But I recognise that. That's the way I had it before. I didn't have parfum. No, I'm just going to stop it here. This is the one I'm going to buy. And then maybe I'll buy this one some other time if I love that one. But I'm not going to buy that one and realise, no, it was that one I want. So, anyway, I'm very popular. They keep on Great Britain kept calling and calling like this was the Eurovision Song Contest. In the end, I just have to, you know, let them call until they hang up themselves. Let's talk about this one. 
I've read about this somewhere. Someone, somewhere. I have a bad case of f- FOLO, FOJO, fear of music, FOMO. Yeah, I read somewhere that someone loved this perfume. So I thought, well, I, then I will love it too. So what's so surprising? What's, uh, it's named after the Turkish saber. This unexpected Cyprus fragrance is the invitation to follow the seed of the, blah, 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 the spicy patchouli wood musk. Oh, I think I like this. Okay, so yeah, I will be buying that. Yes, I will. My order's confirmed. I'm holding my hand here because someone said they shouldn't show you shouldn't show information on the Instagram because you can be hat cashed, fish fish necked. I don't know. Something bad could happen to you. It's time to get on that bike and I just want to show you. This is the first time I use this. This is a sweater. If you can see, it's supposed to look. It's a trompe l'oeil, which means fool the eye in French. Trompe l'oeil sweater that's supposed to look, you know, like a knitted sweater. But it's not. It's just print. It's, uh, I, I bought it. Let's see, where did I buy it? Selpi, which is a second-hand online store in Sweden. Uh, an app. And it's uh, Margiela and H&M collaboration. And uh, as I said, this is the first time I... Have I said, did I say that? This is the first time I use it in honour of what's going to happen tonight. Yeah, the dinner and such things. I look fantastic. And brown trousers. Yeah, lovely this is. And as the girls sing in Annie the musical, you're never fully dressed without perfume. So here we go. Replica by, oh, yeah, by Mike Giela. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm the same brand who made this. Well, sort of. By the fireplace and it smells like burning wood and uh, maybe whiskey. I don't know. It feels like something, you know, you're sitting in one of those. Oh, I need to go. I can't talk. One of those big... Easy chairs with sort of this thing going out. So you're just sitting there in front of the... And just sort of, yeah, I'm not going to be skiing tomorrow. I'll be drinking this cognac. And then I'll fall asleep in this chair. Yeah, let's go. And I'm also bringing this. Usually I don't use them, but I, since I have that cough, I'm sort of a little... What do you say? In, not constipated. Well, my nose is blocked a bit. So I'm trying not to use it but I hate not being able to breathe, don't, don't you? Now we're really going. God. Hey people, here we go. So far so good. I feel like it, for having snowed all day, there's not actually much snow. Maybe Magnus could have made it. But... I'm gonna meet Magnus at the subway here in Orsberg and I'm two minutes late. Uh, I'm going to blame the traffic. Where could he be? There he is. He don't quite see me, which is quite weird. I'm wearing, I'm wearing sequins and a lime green hat. It's really weird. It's really, really weird. He might be going blind, people. See if you see me now. He sees me now. <laughs> Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.